Yes, this is Lawrence Kwagala. Welcome to the Kingly Life program where we minister life. We minister the life of Christ in us. Hallelujah. Where we minister the life of Christ in us. We bless the Lord this early. Those who have been tuning in and waiting for my papa, Pastor Jack Barrow, um, because of some inconveniences, he's been unable to be, to be, to be, to be with us in the studios. You know, and but we bless the Lord that all things work together for good for those who are called, you know, and those who love Him. And um, uh, this early morning, Hallelujah! Uh, it's it's gonna be wonderful. 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 Thank you for tuning in. You can tell your friend to tune in because it's yet another moment. You know. It's yet another moment of dining on life. It's yet another moment of dining on truth. Come on, hallelujah. Wow, Lee Kolo, Bos Katayana, Bos Tele, Bos Kitiyana, Bako Tele, Kolo, Bos Ta. Mandele, Bos Katayana, Bako Tele, Bos Akata, Lee Bos Tele, Bos Ta. Lee Kolo, Bos Tele, Bos Ingala, Maseke Tele, Kolo, Bos Ta. We bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for the indwelling power that do not, the miracle working power. That it works in us, God. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your miracle working power. Thank you for your wonder working power. Liko robo staya lava. Mande korobo skataya lava. Zinge le korobo ste. Lika lava koste le brozinga la makoto robo zatane. E le korobo skia lava zanga la makoste le bozita. Laka lava koste le bozingi di ya lava koto robo sataya. Alaba koste lebo si kata ya laba libo zeke te lebo stay manda laba koste lebo lebo stay manda lebo skata ya laba koste lebo zanga laba liko lebo skita laba zanga lama koste lebo si kata ya thank you for your wisdom that is at work in us thank you for your power e ya laba koste lebo stay thank you for your power the miracle working power. Thank you for the anointing that is effectual in our lives. Thank you for your grace that is effectual in our lives. Thank you for your power. <laughs> ah, glory to God. Thank you for your power. <laughs> Kayala, Kotelebo, Staya, glory. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your power. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Shikataya la bakos tele bosta. Limos kataya la bakos koto do bozanda la bakos tele. Likolo bos kataya la bakos tele bozanda la My God, we bless you for Africa. We thank you for America, South America. We thank you for you, North America. We bless you for Asia. We thank you for you, Australia. My God. All the consciousness of the world. We bless you for the Adamus part of the world. We thank you for those unreached areas. That <laughs> we thank you for the Adamus parts of the world. We bless you for the, those, the unreached areas. Time has come. We thank you for the unreached areas. Masetele Costa. We bless you for the unreached areas, Majesty, King of God, the unreached in Africa, the unreached in Asia, the unreached in America, the unreached in UK, Kayalaba, Europe, the unreached Kayalaba, the uttermost parts of the world, Libo Kayalaba, the islands of the seas, Kayalaba, Kostelebo Zataya. You see, Lemo Sakataya Laba, Kostelebo Zikataya. Masakataya Laba, Kostelebo. 
you are no longer the cold you are no longer called the unreached because we have come na seketere boskata ya you are no longer called the unreached because we have come masataya maya ya with this tiny stopable grace kaya na bless the lord we bless the lord liko staya we bless the lord we have come kaya na no longer you call the unreach because we are reaching out to you kia la baseke tele mosta masakata we are reaching out to you through media liko lobo staya we are reaching out to you through maseke our physical presence kaya la every avenue you are reaching out to you liko lobo staya europe we are reaching out to you south america we are reaching out to you north america we are reaching out to you africa we are reaching out to you Australia we are reaching out to you Likolo Buskata you cannot dodge us you cannot avoid us Masekete we are unstoppable this is the rata glory this is the latter glory this is the rata glory the unstoppable glory this is the latter glory the unstoppable glory this is the latter glory the unstoppable glory Robert Ga Likolo Buskata ya laba oh she cut a label star I pray for the apostles out there. I pray for you. You are awakened to the grace of God. I pray for the evangelists. You are awakened to this mystery of Christ. I pray for the pastors. You are awakened to this move of the Holy Ghost. I pray for the pastors. Mandele buskata ya lava lekolo busta ya lava I pray for the teachers kia lava zikiti you are waking to the mystery of the gospel lekolo buskata ya masekete le prokusta ya you partner with this grace you partner with this message you pray alaba sute lekolo buskata you are not remain behind you participate in this message you participate in this gospel the gospel of grace kia alaba zete the gospel of christ the mystery of the gospel the mystery of christ kia alaba mandele buskata lekolo busti thank you lord jesus Thank you King of Glory Kaya Laba Shakata Laba Kostele Busta Mandele Busta Kaya Laba Likolo Bostele Busanda Shikele Busta Kaya Laba Mandele Busta Kele Busta Kaya Likolo Bostele Busanda Laba Busta Shikatelebos kataya laba, manda laba kustelebos kataya. My God, <laughs> thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Likolebos kataya, lama seketelebos ta. By the understanding of the gospel, haya laba. The gospel works in you. Kia laba zete. It makes you restless. The message of the gospel. The mystery of Christ. Hallelujah. Masaka talaba. Let Jeremiah say that he's a fire in our bones. In his bones. Let me tell you something, child of God. This gospel becomes a fire. Limo sete. It becomes a fire in your mind. It becomes a fire in your body. It becomes a fire in your soul that you cannot rest. Hallelujah. <laughs> Lekolo is become the reason for your life becomes a reason for your being it becomes a reason for your for you, for everything you know liko sitaya nasetele busta thank you lord jesus anyway praise the lord our our ministry number 7562131141 7562131141 this is Lawrence Kwaka in the studios my papa pastor Jack Barry is unable to be with me in the studios but we bless the lord for this morning what so ever is happening is working out together for our good bless the lord for that and so last time we talked about we talk, we we are running a series entitled the lordship of grace the lordship of grace you know but we still take it lower the lordship of grace the lordship of grace kaya labako stelebo zata the lordship of grace you know 
the lordship of grace you know when you accept christ you have made yourself a servant of a servant or a subordinate of grace you know you have made grace your master the moment you accept christ it's like you've surrendered yourself to the grace of god you have made the grace of god your master and so the only ministration you ought to hear or to have is the ministration of your master and i've come to declare to you this early morning that your master is the grace of god you have no other master apart from the grace of god praise the holy ghost and so when you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, it's like you made yourself um, a, a, a subordinate or a, a, a subordinate of the grace of God. And, and when I talk about the grace of God, I mean the very personality of God, the very personality of God, the very personality of God, you know. I mean the charis, the divine enable, the divine influence of, oh, oh, <laughs> the divine influence of the spirit of God in your heart, you know. And so we are running a series entitled The Lordship of Grace. The Lordship of Grace. The Lordship of Grace. The Lordship of Grace. Romans 6. Um, let's read of Romans 6 uh, 14. The Lordship of Grace. The Lordship of Grace. Romans 6 14. Hallelujah. I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a young man. You, you are not old enough. You are not old, and, 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 and uh, you have an apostolic command on your life. Hacking on this message. My prayer for you may not be enough. Hacking on this message. Submit under this message. This is a prophetic message for you. You, 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 are, you, are, you are at home and you are sitting at home, you are listening to me and, and you had me pray for this or so you, 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 you connected with the prayer I was making for the last 10 minutes, you know and this is my perfect message for you hacking and submit under this message hacking and submit under the message you normally hear me share and the mystery of Christ you, things will work out for you as far as ministry is concerned praise the holy ghost let's read romans 6 14 let's read romans 6 14 let's read romans 6 14 for sin shall not have dominion over you for ye are not under the law but under grace you know for sin shall not have dominion over you because you are not under the law but you are under grace you know because we are each praise the holy ghost I mean, Paul is saying the, telling the Roman that sin shall not have dominion over you because you are not under the law, but under grace. What does that mean? It means the church is no longer under the law. It's, it's just simple as that. <laughs> I mean, you know, people complicate scriptures and complicate stuff. But you see, he, he tells you because you are not under the law. You are not under the law. You are not under the law. That means the law is not your master. So you ought not to hear anything from the law because you are not under it. You've got nothing to do with the law, child of God. You've got nothing to do with the law because the law is a killer. The law is a... <laughs> you know, the law is the minister of death. The law is the minister of condemnation. The law is the mess in in there is the knowledge of sin you know we've read all those scriptures and uh, he says you know sin shall not have dominion over you because for you are not under the law what does that mean you are not under the law he tells you are not under the law you see we ought not to preach the law because we are not under the law ah <laughs> uh, she can't tire i mean he tells you look at that it's very simple scripture and simple english you know sin shall not have dominion over you for you are not under the law what does that mean that means for sin to have dominion over you must be under the law i mean scriptures are so simple to be understood but people have complicated scriptures you know i mean look at the scripture for sin shall not have dominion over you for you are not under the law that means you know that means you are not under the law then who under which 
We are under what? As in under which thing are we submitted unto? And so that means we are submitted under grace. We are under, we are under submission. We are under the rulership of grace. We are under the lordship of the grace of God. And so the grace of God is our master. You see, he says, but you are under grace. He's trying to remind you, hey, you are under grace. And because you are under grace, sin shall not have dominion over you. Praise the Lord. Glory. For sin shall not have dominion over you. For you are not under the law. I want you guys to note that. For you are not under the law. For the first thing you, you ought to know is that you are not under the law, but under grace. You see. And so you are under the lordship of grace. So that means being under the law <laughs> I mean when you put yourself under the law you put yourself under the dominion of sin you see when you put yourself under the teaching of the law you are putting yourself under the dominion of sin <laughs> like we read John you read, we read John last time when he was, just started a series of the lordship of grace that we saw that um, we saw that that we saw that we saw that you know that this scripture uh, which says um, many people quote it and say for the thief came to kill no actually they normally quote it that devil came to kill steal and destroy but you see that scripture is not in the Bible so we saw it last time and we saw that the man who came to kill, steal, and destroy is not that is not the devil. The person who came to kill, steal, and destroy is the preacher of the law, and so he is the Pharisee and the Sadducee. And so, when you stand in the shoes of the Pharisee and the Sadducee, you are the very person the Bible is talking about who came to kill, steal, and destroy. So we ought not to go that way for look because we expounded on that, you know, and so. I mean, and Jesus said that whosoever came, you go and read John 10. John, start from John 9 so that you can get a full context of what I'm talking about. And so you go through systematically through John 10, all of it, and say, you, you reach to John 10, 10, and you see, and um, you'll find that um, you reach John 10, 10. Um, let's briefly open there and see. Um, John 10 10 which says the thief came cometh to not the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy but I'm come that you may might have life and that that may have it more abundantly the thief known that devil I want you to talk to not that he talks about the thief known that devil so whatsoever whosoever has been quoting the devil has been misquoting a scripture and the devil is not the one has been talked about in John 10 10 the thief that is being talked about in John 10 10 is the preacher of the law, is the Pharisee and the Sadducee. And so, child of God and man of God and minister of God, when you stand in the shoes of the Pharisee and the shoes, the shoes of the preacher of the law, you, you are the person that is being talked about in John 10 10 who cometh to kill and steal and destroy. And so, when you stand in the shoes of the law and you preach the law to the hearers, you have come to kill them because you are not using the door which is Christ Himself and you are using another door the windows and all the ventilators to enter into the sheepfold praise the holy ghost and so by the and so by so doing you come in to kill the sheep and destroy you know so you are the person actually the person who who is who is being talked about who comes in the in the in, 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 in the sheep skin yet wolf is the thief praise the holy ghost i mean i mean the law the, the law resembles the the law tries to resemble Christ, but in there, there is no Christ. In the law, there is no Christ. That's why whosoever ministers the law ministers death to the people. And so they end up dying and being destroyed. Praise the Lord. In the law, is the, there is no knowledge of Christ. 
and so the more I preach the law the more I preach another Christ so a Christ <laughs> praise the Lord in the law there is no knowledge of Christ in the law there is no God in the law there is no Christ praise the Lord if you read Romans Romans 320 Romans 320 Romans 320 Romans 320 let's open there Romans 3.20 In the law there is no knowledge of Christ. That means when I preach the law, I'm not preaching Christ. And so I'm, 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 I'm like a wall, a wall putting on a ship. Let me tell you, this is the truth and this is the gospel. Praise the Lord. We are under the lordship of grace, not under the lordship of the law. And so I ought to teach you what is we ought to know. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so in there when, when when you submit yourself under the law you are not receiving the ministry of christ but you are receiving another ministry and so when you're a preacher of the gospel in quotes and you preach the law you are you are you are not actually giving life to men but you are giving death to to, to men and in so doing you are the so-called thief who came to kill steal and destroy and so you are, are like you are you are actually putting on a ship skin here a wolf inside let's open you know, Roman 320 let's open Roman 320 it says therefore by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in the in his sight for by the law is the knowledge of sin for by the law is the knowledge of sin for by the law is the knowledge of sin for through the law we come to no sin so what so so what what's what's the ministration of the law the ministration of the law makes us to no sin for in the law there is no knowledge of christ praise the holy ghost for in the law is the revelation of sin <laughs> for in the law is an awakening to the knowledge of sin praise the holy ghost but you see so that's why i'm saying that in the law is no christ in the law there is no knowledge of christ let's open um, let's open uh, ephesians 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 1 17. you know we are not being called to be aware of sin we have been called to be aware of christ in christ there is no sin first john says praise the holy ghost in christ there is no sin let's open um, ephesians ephesians 1 1 1 17 probably and so we see we see we see paul praying for the church at ephesus we see paul praying for the church at ephesus and um and um and um if you read it very well it's a prayer of paul of the holy ghost through paul to the church of ephesus and we're telling them that a good of our lord jesus christ the father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him in the knowledge of christ and so in the knowledge of christ we've been called to have a revelation in the knowledge of christ not in the knowledge of sin and so in the law is the knowledge of sin i pray someone understand me this morning in the law is the knowledge of sin but you see we've been called to have a revelation in the knowledge of christ we've gotten to have a wisdom in the knowledge of christ a revelation in the knowledge of christ paul tells people and, and he prays for them and says that a god of our lord jesus christ the father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him and so we are under the lordship of grace the lordship of christ you know and so we ought to be knowledgeable in them in the, we, we've gotten to have the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of grace not in the knowledge of the law because there are in in the knowledge of the law is the knowledge of sin there is no knowledge of christ praise the lord so we are not supposed to preach the law we ought to preach grace because in the knowledge of in grace is the knowledge of him praise the lord Kayalaba. <laughs> Woo! glory glory to god somebody's getting me outside there i know i know i know you can text us on 756-2131 and 41. That you can also WhatsApp on that very number. 756-2131 and 41 for a question 
Oh, if, you know, anything you want to share with us, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Holy Ghost. You see, Paul tells, I mean, Paul prays for the church at Ephesus. Says, cease, I cease not to pray for you. I cease not to thank to I cease not to give thanks for you. Making, 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 making mention of you in my prayers. That, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. You see, you see, but you see. <laughs> Shikataya. We ought to know Christ alone, not to know sin. How do we know sin? By the preaching of the law. For in the law is the knowledge of sin, Romans 3.20. Okay. And so when you preach the law, you, you make men get to know sin. And so doing, you kill them. So you are the thief who came to kill and destroy but we thank god for this generation we no longer we are non thieves Kaya Laba. glory hallelujah and so defending the fact that you know a man who preaches the law is the killer a person who preaches the law is a thief a person who kill who preaches the law is the he's the one who came to kill steal and destroy Praise the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we've been called to have the wit, to have a revelation in the knowledge of Christ. The Bible says that in Christ there is no sin. That is John. <laughs> That's first John, you know. First John, um, um, first John talks about that. But that in Christ, in him. Glory to God. We told children, let no man deceive you. He that does righteousness is righteous, even as, as he is righteous. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this scripture, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. For his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because in him, because he is born of God. In this, the children of God are manifested, and the children of the devil, whosoever does. Mm, for this is okay. Anyway, um, praise the Lord. Um. Praise the Holy Ghost. I wanted to. I was searching for scripture of First um, John, who talked about in Him, in Christ there is no sin. Anyway, in Christ there is no sin. So that means in Christ there is no knowledge of sin. So you cannot search Christ. You cannot search into Christ and find and and find sin. So you cannot search into Christ and find sin. You know. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I mean, you cannot search, you know. Shikatayana Bakosta. You know, thank you for texting in 756201341. You cannot search, you cannot search Christ. You cannot go into the, into the understanding of Christ. And, and, and you find in Him, and you find anything called sin in Him. Because in Him there is no sin. So. If sin is not found in Christ, you are not out, you are not supposed kaya laba costelebostaya. You are not supposed to know sin because you are supposed to study about Christ. A new man, a new creature, the church is supposed to be knowledgeable about Christ. We are supposed to have a revelation about Christ. We are supposed to have a spirit of wisdom and a revelation in the knowledge of Christ. But you see, 
so the more you search Christ when you go into the details of Christ when you go and you you dig the mystery of Christ you cannot find sin in him so you 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 can't know sin in Christ <laughs> ah glory to God these things I enjoy a ball hey hey so when you dig into the details of Christ you cannot find sin that's why in him there is no knowledge of sin do you know why in the law there was knowledge of sin I'm enjoying this message <laughs> do you know why do you know why in the law there was knowledge of sin because the law was talking about a different man he was talking about the, the old man but because because in the old man was sin and so that's why the law is the knowledge of sin the law was talking about the flesh the law was talking about the old man the law was dealing with the old man praise the lord and so that's why it could make men knowledgeable of sin reason being they are talking about he was talking about the law was fleshy the law was of the flesh it was a shadow it was of a flesh it was a shadow you know and so it was dealing with the shadow which is the flesh and so the law is the knowledge of sin and and so when you search the mystery of christ you cannot find sin in christ you cannot find sin in christ that's why some of us we can never talk about sin because we don't know sin we don't know sin because in christ the only subject was that, that was left to us to, to, to study we don't find sin in him so we cannot talk about something we don't know we don't know sin because in him there is no sin so that means in him we cannot find the knowledge of sin Kaya. I pray someone understands me in there praise the Lord that's why we cannot we cannot talk about poverty in Christ there is no poverty we cannot talk about diseases sickness because in him there is no sickness I mean the more we seek and, 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 and the more we search into Christ and and we go deep in deep knowledge of him we find nothing like sickness we find nothing like disease we find nothing like death we find nothing like hell we we, we don't know this side of life because in him there is no sin in him <laughs> we only know love we only know prosperity praise the Holy Ghost hallelujah I mean that's why I mean God comes and asks uh, uh, Deb, I mean uh, God comes and asks Sam um, God comes and asks Sam um, God comes and asks Adam that Adam where thou art I mean where are you and Adam says I'm you know must I'm, I'm 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 hiding why are you hiding I'm naked who told you that you are naked I mean, because in him in me there's no knowledge of sin in him there's no knowledge of good and evil you know who told you the reason why Adam Adam realized his nakedness is because he partook of the tree or of the knowledge of good and evil and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil is that is the law praise the Lord that you see we are under the sub we are under the lordship of the tree of life alone and that is the not the lordship of the grace of God praise the Holy Ghost shikatele boko alaba Shiketele brokos kataya limos tele bosta masiketele brokosta likolo bostele brozanda. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for texting 21 31 and 41 756 21 31 and 41. Praise the Lord. You see, the reason why Adam discovered his nakedness is because he partook of a wrong tree, he partook of the law. He partook of the law. That's why he was naked. The reason why men perceive themselves as sinners is because they are feeding on the wrong tree. The reason why, child of God, you see yourself dirty is because you are feeding on the law. 
But the moment you make grace your Lord, your Lord, you, you cannot know this side of life. The reason why men are seeking for cleansing is because they are feeding on the wrong tree, which is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and which tree is the law, which comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Praise the Lord. And so that means grace is not making people to sin, but grace is power to overcome sin. But the law is the license to sin. This is, <laughs> let me tell you something. If you want to make people sin the more, preach the law. If you want to make people to die poor, preach the law. If you want to make, if you want to make men to be sick, preach the law. If you want men to be weak, preach the law. This is the law that kills men. The law is the ministry of death. Child of God, if you want to prosper, submit yourself to the message of grace. Our Lord is the grace of God. He's the very personality of Christ. Praise the Lord. He costaya. I pray for your eyes to be open this morning. I pray for your eyes to be open this morning. Man of God, child of God. I pray for your eyes to be open this morning. The reason why Adam died is because he partook of the law. He partook of the law. Jesus, I mean, God told him, don't feed on this tree. And that tree was the tree of the law. It was a tree of the law. He refused to eat of the tree of grace, which is the tree of life. So when he ate of the law, he died. Child of God, if you want to die, listen to the law. And the reason why the church is dying is because they are listening to the law. Men who are preaching are preaching the law. The, 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 this is the what what Paul called another gospel in the Epistle of Galatians was the law. If you read the the context of the Galatians very well, you discover that Paul was talking about the law. He was telling them that if I build the things which I destroyed, what what are the things that Paul destroyed? Those are the, he was referring to the law, guys. Study the Bible. <laughs> you know we have, you know we have many, we have men who are standing the positions of preaching when they have not studied the scriptures. We have, they are not studying in Christ. If you study the Galatians very well, I mean, the man was talking about the law, that he was saying that if I destroy the things which I built, I mean. If I build the things which I destroyed, then I call myself a transgressor. You see, that means a person, a sinner is a man. <sighs> Woo! A lot of words are running out of my word, my mouth. That means if you want to that's a mystery of transgression, you know. That's transgression. If you preach the law, you're a transgressor. You are building the thing that God destroyed. You see, God came and destroyed the law. God came and did away with the law. And, and, and why did, I mean, God came and dealt away with the law. And so Paul comes and says, if I build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. So what are the things that Paul was trying to talk about? He was referring to the things which things are of the law. He was not talking about anything else. He was talking about the law. Praise the Holy Ghost. So we are not supposed to preach the law because those are the things that God destroyed a long time on the cross. Praise the Holy Ghost. So we ought to be cautious of what to preach, men of God. We ought to be cautious of what to preach, women of God, child of God. We ought to be cautious of what we listen to. If you submit your spirit to the ministration of the law, you will die. And all your experiences in the spiritual realm determine, depends most solely on the gospel you listen to. If you submit to another gospel, which is the law, 
you will experience death in your dreams you will experience death in your business you will experience death in your marriages the reason why marriages are crumbling is because they they have submitted their marriages under the the lordship of the law which marriage mm, my 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 no my she cut the reason why all that you are trying to build up are crumbling is because you, you made your yourself to submit under the law but you see we ought to make you aware of grace that you may submit under Christ that you may submit under this tree of life praise the Lord the Lordship of Grace. <laughs> Glory to God. The Lordship of Grace. Feel the flow of the Holy Ghost. Feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You see, when you search in Christ, there is no knowledge of sin. When you search in Christ, there is no knowledge of sin. In Him, there is no sin. That means a man who is making you aware of sin is not preaching Christ. <laughs> Woo! Glory! Glory! Glory to God. Glory to God. Shikatala bakosti le brokos kataya. Mande le brokos kataya la bakosti le brosinga la makosti. Riko lo bos kataya la bakosti le brosanga la makosti le brokosta. Shikata la bakoste le brozinga la makoste le brokosta. Mande le brokoskata ya la makoste le brozanga. Shikata la makoste le brokosta ya la ba. Thank you for texting in 756-21-31-41. Liko lo boskata ya la masekete le brokosta ya la ba. Liko lo boske le brozanga. Shikatala ma coste le brocosta ya la basse que te le brocosta. Shikatala ma coste le brocosta. Thank you for texting in 21756213141. Thank you for texting in. Thank you. Thank you. Liko lo buscata ya la. Mande le buscate le brocuscata ya la ba coste le bozanda. Yere bo sikata ya la makoste le brozanda li kolobo staya. Ay ya la makoste le brokosta. I'm praying for your eyes to be open right now. These are the tongues I'm speaking. Just connect with me in the spirit. That your eyes may be open. That your eyes may be open. That the eyes of your understanding may come to know the mystery of the gospel. That your eyes may be open. That eyes of your understanding may, be, may get awakened. That this gospel may flood your minds. That this gospel may flood your entire being that you may that you may see <laughs> like elijah prayed for Geha, Geha, gehazai that but that father opened the eyes of this young man so i pray for the eye of your eyes to be open i pray for the opening of your eyes right now i pray for the opening of your eyes right now child of god submit to the understanding of the gospel do not resist this message submit to understand Submit to the grace. You will understand. Submit. Be willing to learn, child of God. Be willing to learn. It doesn't matter how long you've taken preaching the message. That <laughs> but you see, time has come for you to learn. You know, you know, you know, you know. All that you know is not there that there is. All that you know is not that there is. God has to. God has in store more than what you know. So you ought to open your mind and to open your spirit to understand. You see, there is more to learn more than what you know. Not that you know that, I mean, what you know is not the end of the knowledge of Christ. There is more. This is, I mean, these are unsearchable riches. Why harden your heart not to understand more? <laughs> 
Christ is endless, his bottomless searches. I mean, you cannot search him and end him. So you ought to be open to the mystery of Christ to understand, my child of God. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I pray for your eyes to be open, child of God. I pray for your eyes to be open. Thank you for hearkening to this. Thank you. I know many are being blessed by this message. I receive text messages on a daily basis that you bless us. You know, it's, it's, it's worth it. Praise the Lord. It's worth it. Praise the Holy Ghost. Kiyala bakosti le busta. Mande le brokosta yala bakosta. Shikata yala bakosti le brozanda la makosti le brokosta. Shikata yala bakosti le brokosta. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You see, um, I found this scripture, First John three. First John three, um, which talks about in Him there is no sin. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. And, and, and you know that he was manifested to take away our sins. And in him is no sin, you know. It's 1 John 3, 5, you know. In him is no sin. In him is no sin. That means if you search in Christ, you find no sin. That means the more you search in Christ, there is no knowledge of sin. That means that conscience of sin is not the conscience of Christ. <laughs> ah, glory to God. A man making you more conscious of sin is not ministering Christ to you. Take us state. <laughs> a man ministering sin to you, a man ministering the knowledge of sin to you is not ministering Christ to you. He's ministering another gospel. He's ministering his own gospel. Because in Christ, 1 John 3, 5, is no sin. In him, there is no sin. That means a person ministering sin the message of sin, the knowledge of sin, is not ministering Christ to you. A person reminding you of your former sins, a person reminding you of your forefathers' sins, a person telling you to confess the sins of your, your forefathers, is, a, is another minister, is not a minister of Christ. Yes, I know. <laughs> exactly. I'm actually responding to someone. There's, there, 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 there's a couple of people that are asking, that are, that are shocked. And I'm, I'm responding to you in the spirit. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Glory to God. A person reminding you of your forefathers' sins is, is making you, is not ministering Christ to you because in Christ there is no sin. What we know about Christ as far as sin is concerned is the sin was taken away. That's what we know. What we know about Christ as far as sin is concerned is, is our old man was crucified with him and our old man was done away with. So in him there is no sin. That's what we know about Christ as far as sin is concerned. Praise the Holy Ghost. That's why he told you that sin cannot have dominion over you because you are not under the law. The, man, the reason why sin is dominating you is because you are submitted under the law. But if you submit under the message of grace, sin cannot dominate you. Because, see, because grace is, is, is power. You see, grace is divine enablement. To make you dominate over your fleshly weaknesses. But you see, when the law comes in, he empowers the flesh. And the flesh takes over you. <laughs> That's why the flesh is dominating the church. It's because they are hearkening themselves. And they are submitting under the lordship of the law. But we bless a lot for this generation. For this era. For this message. For this time. It's gone. That, that, that time is gone. Praise the Lord. Woo. <laughs> yeah. 
I feel the anointing of preaching and teaching in this place. It's too overwhelming. It's too much, you know. Shikatayala the lordship of grace is the series that we are running the lordship of grace glory 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 to God glory to God okay somebody are texting and is saying pastor praise God pastor I'm a much praise pastor pray for me I have ulcers Immaculate, I pray for those ulcers to go right now. Ulcers, I command you to leave. Immaculate, I command you to go right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Immaculate, you are healed right now. You are healed right now. Okay. Help me find scripture that talks about preaching the gospel of questions. And explain what it is. Help me find the scriptures that talks about preaching the gospel of questions. What? Anyway, I don't know. Explain what it is. And explain what it is. I've not understood that question, Ruth. You can you can rephrase and I I, I get to know it. Ruth, you can re retext and I get to know it better. And praise God, praise God, thanks for the message. I'm Jackie in Nansen. I usually get bad dreams. Jackie. <laughs> bad dreams. You see, the, 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 everlasting, the everlasting solution for bad dreams is the, is the right understanding of, the, of Christ. Me praying for you, it's a temple. But I can pray for you, Jackie. I pray for you. I orient you in the spiritual realms of life, Jackie. I orient you in the spiritual realms of life by the grace of God and by the power of the Holy Ghost. I orient your spirit in the, in the spiritual realms of life that will ever experience life dreams. You know, good dreams in Jesus' name, Jackie. I prayed. Mm. Praise God. I'm, I'm Liz. I'm requesting for your prayers. My uncle prayed for, for sponsorship from the state. On my behalf, I pray that God helps me so that I may be considered and I gain, I gain that sponsorship at Makere so that I may also study for Makere, which is my prayer. Glory to God. Okay, Liz, I pray, I, gra I pray, God, God grants you the desires of your heart. It is His will that your desires may be granted. And so, in agreement, we pray for the effectual working power to effect this dream of yours in Jesus' name please it is done uh, praise the lord i'm dawoodi i always enjoy that program because it revives me spiritually pastor pray for me to overcome the diseases i'm suffering from in the yoke of poverty you see dawoodi you are not poor that's a message of grace the law says you are poor you are not poor I don't need to pray for your poverty. You are not poor. And I pray, you are not sick, but I pray for that sickness to leave your body. I command the diseases you speak about, which I don't know, but I speak whatsoever disease to leave your body right now, doubt. I command your body to be healed right now. I command this to go in Jesus' name. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Doubt you are healed. Amen. You can text 756 21 31 and 41. 756 21 31 and 41. 756 21 31 and 41. You can text in. It's been a wonderful session. I want to pray for all our partners, partners of King Life Program. Thank you for partnering with us. I want to pray for partners of camp meetings, um, that truth camp meeting that are held all over the world. Um, thank you for partnering with us. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for partners of schools of life, wherever they are. Uh, schools of life, home schools, and in, 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 in town schools. We bless the Lord. I want to pray for you wherever you are. 
I want to pray for you. 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 I pray for you. I pray for you. I speak a divine enablement. I speak a divine enablement. I speak a special grace in your life. I speak a special grace in your finances. I speak a special grace in your marriages. I speak a, a special grace in your in your in, 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 in your ministries, wherever you are. I speak a special grace. I speak a special grace. I speak a special grace in your life. Wherever you are, all partners across the world, I bless you. I bless you. You are blessed. You walk in this blessedness, you are. You, 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 you are in. I, I, I speak a blessing. I bless you. 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 All the partners across the world. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. In Jesus' name, I bless you. In Jesus' name, I bless you. And I, I bless you. I bless you. And all the kings, wherever you are, I bless you. And all the kings, wherever you are, I bless you. In Jesus' name, I bless you. I speak a blessing over you. I speak a blessing over you. Liko, you shall not see lack. You shall not suffer in this world. You are not of this world. You shall not suffer. I bless you. You will not suffer in Jesus' name. Suffering is not your portion. You are destined to reign. You are destined to reign in Jesus' name. You walk in this blessedness by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I speak as a man of God by the grace entrusted upon me. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. All the partners, I bless you. 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 By the grace of God, there is a special grace. I bless you. Receive it wherever you are. Participate in this. I bless you. I bless you. You can also take it. Even if you're a listener, you're a partner. You're a partner. You don't, to partic- you don't need to, to give in money to become a partner. Even if you listen, I bless you. You partner with this message by, by, by hearkening and submitting under the teachings that, that, that are always aired on this air. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. There's a special grace. Participate in this right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Participate in it. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. In Jesus' name. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. She can't tell you this time. She can't tell you this time. Praise the Lord. I bless the Lord. Thanks for the message. All that you spoke today, I had meditated all that two months back. And that same scripture in my chair. Praise the Lord, I chair. Praise the Lord, I chair. We bless the Lord. Praise the Lord for the encouragement. Praise the Lord. Wow, it's been a wonderful time having you as my listener. This is Lawrence Kwagala. As usual, King Life Ministering Life. We bless the Lord. Listeners across Africa, across Europe, across America, across UK, you know, across across Europe, across Asia. Thank you for tuning in. Those on the internet, God bless you. Those on your wherever you are, God bless you. God bless you. If you want to partner with us, 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 you can our our mob M10 mobile money number is 774-64-2690. If you want to partner with us financially and if if, if, if you've been a blessing, if this ministry has been a blessing to you, and please, you want to participate in this grace, uh, you, 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 if you want to partake of this grace, if you want to partake of this, if you want to partake of this grace, I give you an opportunity. It's your opportunity. You don't need to miss it out. Don't miss out this opportunity. Participate in this grace. Participate in this grace. Participate in this grace financially. Our mobile money number is 774-64-2690. 774-64-2690 mobile money number is that if you want to partner with us financially please don't miss out this opportunity do yourself a favor and participate in this grace <laughs> praise the lord you can come and fellowship with us every friday um africa outport along buganda road that is from 6 to 8 every friday you can also come and fellowship with us tomorrow at saffron restaurant um, a saffron restaurant every Sunday 
from 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 9 from 9 to 12 from 9:30 to 12 come and fellowship with us from from 9 to 12 you can come and fellowship with us saffron restaurant cement near acacia mall if you want to believe christ if you want to, to embrace christ as your personal lord and savior say lord jesus lord jesus i believe you done and rose again and with my heart i believe you died and rose again i am the righteousness of god i am born of you i am born of you and i know i am your child if you have repeated those words after me you can look for a bible teaching program and 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 and, 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 and you know and walk and grow in christianity we love you so much send my regards to my papa who has not been able to be here pastor jack barrow probably next time he will be with us I send my regards to all the kings wherever you are across the globe all the kings family we love you so much all the kings and, and the kings young kings teens kings and mature kings wherever you are we love you so much we love you we cherish you god bless you god bless you god bless you keep it up